Hello, today I will be discussing how to scan a poem. And I'm not talking about using a scanner, I'm talking about Scanshin. Scanshin is an interesting process of determining the rhythm and the meter of a poem. The rhythm of a poem is the pattern of stressed and unstressed syllables in a line. The meter is the number of feet in a line. Yes, that's right. Lines have feet. And Scanshin is describing the rhythm of the poetry by dividing it into lines and into feet and marking the stressed and unstressed syllables. Now first, let's talk about stressed and unstressed syllables. Consider these two names here, Elaine and Ashley. Now, when you think about it, if we were to use a U to describe the unstressed syllable and a line to describe the stressed ones, then Elaine would have unstressed, stressed, Elaine, whereas Ashley would have stressed, unstressed, Ashley. Now, let's talk about how that figures into poetry. I want to go to Italy and eat a pizza pie. Now let's mark the stressed and unstressed syllables. I want, I want to go, to go to Italy, to Italy, and eat, and eat a pizza pie. There we go. See? Now this particular pattern, stress, unstressed, stressed, unstressed, stressed, unstressed, stressed, is called iambic. Each one of these unstressed, stressed patterns is an iamb. There are many other patterns like this. This is a trochee. You may recognize this from a Shakespearean play. It goes double, double, toil and trouble. Fire, burn and cauldron bubble. It's a trochee. The pattern of a trochee is stressed, unstressed. Now this one is by Edgar Allan Poe. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabel Lee. Let's look at these stressed and unstressed syllables. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Anna Nobel Lee. That is called an anapest or anapestic. One more that we'll be discussing today is dactylic or the use of the dactyl. This is a song by the Beatles. Picture yourself in a boat on a river with tangerine trees and marmalade skies. Picture yourself in a boat on a river with tangerine trees and, and marmalade skies. There, you see? Now, the next part, that is rhythm. The next part of scansion is dividing each line into feet. Poems have feet, who knew? <clears throat> now, a line has one meter in it, then it is called monometer with one foot, diameter for two feet, trimeter for three feet, tetrameter for four feet, pentameter for five feet, hexameter for six feet, heptameter for seven feet, and octameter for eight feet. And it goes on like that. You can have them keep going if you want, but for now we won't. Now let's imagine that this song by the Beatles is a poem, and we'll break it into feet by the pattern of dactyls. Picture yourself, picture your, that's one foot, self in a, that's another foot, boat in a, another foot, river with, 
and so on and so forth. Tangerine, trees, and marmalade skies. Now we can count them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's it. That's four feet in a line. Now if we look back on our chart, that's a tetrameter. So if this song were a poem, it would be in ditalic, oops, tetra meter. There we go. Now let's go back to do, 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 double, double, toil and trouble. Let's look at this one. Okay, we have our stressed, unstressed, stressed, unstressed. Each one of these is a foot. Stressed, unstressed, stressed, unstressed, stressed, unstressed, unstressed, stressed, unstressed, stressed, unstressed. We have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And again, this is tetrameter. All right, now. Shakespeare does not usually write in chokey tetrameter. Anybody who knows Shakespeare knows that he usually writes more like this. This is our sonnet 18. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's leash, leash hath all too short a date. All right. Shall. I compare thee to a summer's day. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake, oops, shake the darling buds of May and Summer's leash hath all too short a date. Now, each one of these is an I am. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more love, lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May and summer's leash had all too short a date. There we go. Now let's count this. One, two, three, four, five. 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 That's right. This is pentameter. And because each of these is an iamb, we call it iambic. Pentameter. And that is how to scan a poem.